Hey guys, Pastor Artie here with your man and coffee. You know, it says in God's word that when they were on the boat going across the sea, that a storm arose and they panicked. The disciples panicked and they called out to Jesus, don't you care that we're all going to die? And Jesus said, wait a minute. He got up and he stood on the bow of the boat and he said, peace be still. And the ocean calmed down and it was mellow and smooth as glass and they sailed over to the other side. You know, I'm here in Redondo Beach and you know, I was over here looking out at the breakwater and you know, I see the ocean out there. It's so peaceful, so calm. There's a sailboat out there. I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? It's over here somewhere. Uh, it's right behind me, <laughs> but it's sitting so calmly in the water. No ripples, no big waves, no something. It's not getting swamped. And you know what? It's amazing that God will take the storms of your life and he will bring a calming peace to them, just like the ocean behind me. Today, family, if you're going through some struggles or you're going through some hard times, you know what? Allow God to smooth out the waves to calm the ocean that you're sitting on. It may be turbulent right now, but you know what? God will bring it to a peace, it says. He'll calm it. He'll calm the storms in your life. So trust in him today. Linda and I love you. We're praying for you. Pastor Tony and myself here at Reaching Our City Ministries, we're lifting you guys up in prayer that you too will be able to go through the storms of life knowing that God is gonna calm the seas because he's right there with you 100% of the time. May God bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May he give you peace, just like the ocean out there. See, it's all peaceful. There's no big waves gonna crash over the seawall and, and drown me here. <laughs> but he can do the same for you. May you have a blessed day. I'm gonna finish uh, eating my dinner over here with my wife and her daughter. And then we're just gonna drive on home and enjoy our time together. So I hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy the football game. We love you and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye, guys.